so I'm here at the shop and I see a jug of milk but how does it actually get into the jug well I'm here to explain let's take a look what are you doing uh, milking the cow like I was told to milk all these cows um. I think that yeah, might take a um, Yeah, that's why I came early. I have to get them done before, like, I don't know, six or something. <laughs> well, we have machines for that, you know. What? Yeah. I don't know who told you that, but like... No, but this is how it's always been, right? Um, Come here. Yeah, like back in the day, we had things, you know, that we can work them with. Like. Wait, what, what year is it? 2023. Oh really? <laughs> and there's so there's something better? Yeah. Well, let's go then. Just in that So what you see behind me is the dairy. So let's go have a look. First, we enter into the control room. This is where we have the huge milk vat, where all the milk from all the cows actually ends up in. Then we have the filter, couple of control panels. But if we move on, this is actually where the magic happens. We have to get the cows in and for that we have this machine so I'll show you I'm here with Siobhan she's the cow whisperer <laughs> she's the best at getting cows in the best in Australia so oh, we'll... that's They're waiting to get milk. And now we gotta start moving the cows, right? Yeah. Yes. What are the main tricks and tips? How do you become so good at uh, cow herding? Um, getting the cows. I don't really know. I just go to the back of the Fight is going on. Uh, let's do an interview. Please. Please. No, they don't want to. <laughs> Try to get an interview, but. <laughs> Good luck with that. And now the cows are in and we got to put up the packing tape packing tape so they know their limits so there you go this is the process of getting the cows in so now we're at the dairy and the cows are in let's set the dairy up so the cows <laughs> we can start milking <laughs>
button. Shut it down. So, the first thing before putting this alien thing on the cow, mm. we need to actually make sure that the teeth are clean. Anyway. And now, when you've made sure that the uh, teeth are clean, the next step is to put the cups on. This will, okay, I've been calling them alien objects, but this is the name, the cups. So for that, we push the button, make sure that this comes down. And we attach each cup to each. Tail, this colorful, nice trim tail, and this means well, there's different colors, uh, but this means that this cow is going into the bucket. Yeah, it's just they either have mascara, so the quality is not good, or yeah, don't worry. Medication. Yeah, this, this won't uh, end on your lunch table, this will be fed to the calves. Yeah. You might also wonder what are the cows doing actually inside here while they're be getting milk? Well, the fact of the matter is that they're getting served a very succulent dish, a combination of many minerals and very nutritious things. And look at them. They're just gobbling it up. So there you go, this is the process of getting milk into the jug. Do you have a favorite um, cow? Um, I have a couple of cows that I really like. I have the, well they go by the numbers, like 90, 80 and, and there's one. I really seem to vibe with them, like sometimes I feel like just going into the you know, paddock with them and actually jumping on the grass. One is kind of repulsive to me, so I don't know if I'll, you know, blend in. How are you like the job? Coming from not knowing, like, much about milking and stuff. It has its on and off days. I mean, um, you know, sometimes I'm with the cows and like you can see from my uh, legs that it, it seems that everything is going well and nice, but then, you know, I think at first they're like farting or something, but then like something else comes out and I don't know, it, it can be like 
I don't know what it is, it's some brown stuff. It smells bad, but other, otherwise it's, it's nice. Do you prefer morning milking or afternoon milking? Oh man, if, if uh, given the opportunity, I would milk all day. I feel like they could put uh, like a midnight slot for me. I would totally, you know, mm -hmm. just make a new slot and, you know, let me milk some more. Maybe just, you know, more milking, you know. The cows seem to have the milk, why, why not just put me out there? I've definitely, like, brought up tolerance to, like, uh -huh. like mastitis medication. I love uh -huh. mastitis. I think it's great. Like, it's, it's, um, yeah, I don't know. It'd be shit if I was uh -huh. mastitis intolerant. For people that don't, like, that are new to uh -huh. mastitis and stuff, it's probably pretty scary and shit, but, like, I think I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for so long that it's just kind of like a second nature to me.